Welcome, this is item number 25 from the release Spring 2014 test items for 7th grade TCAP math. Question says, the total cost for three CDs is $23.97. At this rate, what would be the total cost for 11 CDs? Now, if you see the word rate, you're really talking about a relationship between two things, like, and it usually has the word per in it. So in this case, $23.97 is for three CDs. I want to know the price per CD. So all I'm going to do is take $23.97 and divide by three. Because if I do that, if you divide three by three, incidentally enough, it'll give you one. So dividing this number by three will give me the rate for one CD. And then I can just see, okay, if that's what one costs, what does 11 cost? This is assuming they all cost the same, which in this universe that's been created by this problem, they do. Not tons of people buying tons of CDs anymore, but that's neither here nor there. So 23.97, and I'm going to divide by 3, and end up with $7.99. That's my price per CD. So from here, I just need to know what 11 of those would be, so I'll multiply times 11. $87.89. By the way, some of the question choices didn't make any sense. If three CDs cost $23.97, how in the world could 11 cost $1.38? No. $7.99, what they're trying to get, with you, uh, get you to do there is fall for the idea of only solving half the problem. But it doesn't make any sense. I would have gone ahead, honestly, and I should have done this before now that I think about it, and just scouted some of the answers to see if I could eliminate them. Because there's no way, if three of them cost this much, that 11 of them will cost less than that. It makes no sense. My only two logical answers are here and here. But what they're trying to do with C is just get you to find out, okay, that's the price for one. So what you might do, it won't take that much longer. Uh, when you get 7.99, you should say per CD. And then you know if they want to know what 11 is, it's not that. So just multiply by 11, and you'll get your final answer, the final answer which is $87.89. Not a very difficult problem, really. Um, this 7191, I'm not 100% sure where they got it. It's probably them multiplying out some other, like times 10 or some other such thing. But, uh, you know, that's it. Just make sure that you work the problem out to find the per CD price, multiply the, that number by how many CDs you need, lead to your final answer. Pretty simple stuff.